Hi, welcome to Erica's Little Welsh Garden. It's Friday the 3rd of August today and I'm just on my way back from Bristol. It is like caravan central out there though, so I thought I'd pull in quickly for a um, coffee. I went to Starbucks, but unfortunately they didn't have any used coffee grounds, which was a little bit disappointing. Um, on my way back from Bristol, I did also pop in to another YouTuber's house. Um, some of you may be aware that I'm going to be doing a collaboration with somebody else, but I will talk about that in another video. I just wanted to show you how things are, you know, growing in the garden at the moment. I was a little bit embarrassed about showing you this footage because things aren't growing as well as they could be. However, I've got my yakons are doing really well. I've got some... Um, globe artichokes that I've put in as well so as you grow up through the garden it does get better but at the end of the day I'm trying not to be too embarrassed because I'm growing things and if it can inspire people to have a go and realize it doesn't have to be perfect then you know that would be really good so anyway I'm chatting on now so I hope you enjoy my garden update and if you have any advice please let me know and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to um, press that like and subscribe um, you know, because it'd be really nice to have more of you come along the journey in my little Welsh garden. So these were my 8P Wyvale um, black opal tomato plants and they're completely um, neglected as you can see but they're doing pretty well considering um, the level of neglection. Now I have seen a lot of people that are growing black opal on the Facebook groups and things and they're really black so obviously this variety doesn't get quite as dark. So this is my Swiss chard. I've just got a couple of um, plants here, but it's not doing very well at all. Two of them bolted, so I've just let them, um, you know, continue to bolt and see if they flower and drop some seeds for next year. Um, but they're all drying and they've got this kind of um, manky looking leaves. So does anyone know if it's a kind of pest or disease that's attacking it? I know they haven't dried or got sunburnt or anything. So yeah, if you could let me know what's going on with these, that would be great. This is my pumpkin patch I've got growing at the front. Slightly disappointed with the amount of pumpkins I've got growing, um, but I've got one here, um, which is a Uchiki Curie. I think there is a rotten one there that I need to pick off. Um, there's one down there, and yeah, there you go. And there's also another one down here. Now, um, I did notice on a few people's... Um, videos recently that they've had thefts um, from their crops on the um, allotments and stuff and it did concern me that obviously I've got gates there and people do walk past so in a way I'm kind of glad that I don't have any massive pumpkins here because I would really be devastated if someone stole them um, but has anyone had anything stolen recently from their allotment in terms of produce? So here's my Uchiki Kyori that I've got growing in a 30 litre pot. It's looking quite spindly. I have fed it um, today with a nitrogen feed. Um, I'm wondering though, if I do take off the, um, the pumpkin, will it flower again or anything? And will it, will it encourage it to grow more pumpkins? Let me know in the comments. So I've got some lovely pumpkins that have kind of completely rambled over my gate. Um, and from along the wall and in the soil up here in my courtyard garden. My neighbour did tell me that there is also a pumpkin the other side of the wall there and they've just put some slabs down for me so it can um, grow and it is swelling every day. Now it's a French variety of pumpkin and I completely have forgotten the name so if I find out I'll just put it in here for you. I've got some um, dahlias in here that have been munched quite a bit and there's some snapdragons that I put in there as well and they look like they're about to flower. I've got some chard here that's been completely eaten but it is looking better than the chard out the front. Here's my chilli plants, again not looking good at all. I do promise that I have got some um, decent things growing in the garden, but unfortunately <laughs> this so far isn't very good. I've got some beans there that um, are just growing up some canes along the trellis, but they're not doing very well either, so to be honest I should just bypass this entire area. So these are my carrots, they're doing really well. They are 
planted way too close together and really do need thinning out but I'm just letting them do their thing really they seem pretty happy there and I'm going to just see how big they grow with the fact they're very overcrowded so I'm just on my patio now and you can see my apple tree is managing to hang on for um, dear life considering all of this hot weather we've had that will be going in the ground at some stage this year I've just not decided where yet and I've got my Uchiki Kyori plant is doing okay I have given it a nitrogen feed today and you can see that one's looking pretty good but I better tie it down soon before it falls off um, I've got my beans here they're doing okay considering the hot weather and the lack of pollinators around and my uh, Jack B Little again is still looking good and growing more Jack B Little pumpkins and then this side is doing pretty well I think it was only like last week that I showed you the purely pumpkin update so but you can see it's kind of just growing everywhere again I've given this a nitrogen feed this morning so hopefully in a couple of days these pumpkins are going to look a little bit healthier when I harvested my shallots from this raised bed I put some um, soil fertilizer in and then I planted my brassicas now I was keeping up every single day with removing all of the eggs from my brassicas and as you can see the caterpillars have um, been munching out on them so I've obviously not done a very good job here um, that one for instance I think is safe to say that one's a goner next year I do need to put some um, kind of mesh up or something like that but I didn't have any this year so I thought I would just wing it and see what happened and this is what happens when you wing it so in my other raised bed the um, celeriac is doing fine but it's quite um, small and the brassicas seem to be in a slightly better shape than in the other bed but still very very eaten and my potatoes seem to be doing okay in these buckets next year I really am going to get some in the ground and here are my um, potatoes on the other side but again I don't think I'm probably going to have any potatoes in here just because they've been eaten and they've not died back so I'll be very surprised if I actually have any potatoes in there. I did do a potato reveal yesterday and I had very sad results from that. Here are my very sad looking tomatoes. They are out of their um, buckets because they were completely full of water. So I've just let them drain here. I have given them a nitrogen feed and they are being very productive but they look very sad and yellow. here are my yakons i'm so excited about these i didn't really think they'd grown that much but i looked at the footage i put on of them last month and they've grown so much looks like i've got two um yakon plants here as well um because there's two stems but i am so so excited about growing these and you know i'm really really hoping that i'm going to have a a nice harvest of some yakons this year um so i can grow some you know more plants but also really see how good they taste and share them with as many people as i can because as they're low in inulin then you know it's just a great way to have carbs without as many calories really look two cabbage whites here waiting to go on my brassicas these are my Jerusalem artichokes doing really well in their 30 litre buckets. I gave them a nitrogen feed this morning and I just can't wait for them to flower now but I'm guessing that's going to be the end of September time and I've got pumpkins just kind of trailing all over the place. I think that's the same variety as the one that's growing on the wall um, down in the courtyard garden and I've got this one. I think this is a jack-o'-lantern. Now there is a pumpkin that's trailing along here but I haven't found any pumpkins growing there so I'll be lucky because it looks pretty bad so here's the pumpkin patch that's been completely taken over by Crocosmia but I've got one Cinderella 
pumpkin growing in here I would go a bit further in but there is a massive spider so that's not going to happen um, but there are I think two pumpkins from the same um, plant growing up here so let's have a look <laughs> yep there's two there so I don't think I have really as many pumpkins as I thought growing this year but it's better than nothing I've got some potatoes here um, but they look like they're being eaten now because everything's so overgrown so this here is like a makeshift seed kind of nursery bed here um, I've got my rhubarb and I've got celeriac growing in all of these here um, I've got some lupins that I grew from seed this year they were inside pretty much dying so I bought them out and potted them on and they look like they're doing much better now there's my parsley that I managed to save from um, the supermarket the other day and yeah these celeriacs here are doing pretty well my strawberries are propagating like mad from all of the runners but I do need to put some more pots out and label some of them up before I take them from the mother plants here's lupins again now these I thought I had killed in the heat wave on my windowsill so they're all starting to get more leaves on now which is absolutely amazing hopefully these will be planted out the front next year and I've got some um, globe artichokes here I've not shown you these um, in any of my videos yet I will do a video just solely on them because I've been learning loads about globe artichokes and it's really interesting but they are growing really nicely at the moment considering they're in a slightly shady part of the garden but they've been here while the heat wave's been going on so they've probably been in a better place really because they haven't been scorched So on the way to the woodland garden, I have been putting some stones down. My plan is to create a path up here with wood chip. Um, we have just started cutting logs for our wood store for this year. So we've got them here. We got this trolley so that we could transport the, um, the firewood from up in the garden. And that's working pretty well. And my chickens are doing well. I've only got four now, so I need to get their new chicken coop sorted so they've got more space and get the electric fence so they can be free ranging so in my woodland area it appears that I have a little mole um, I'm not really too bothered I don't think they're really that bad apart from wrecking the lawn but um, as you can see the lawn isn't really great anyway still haven't put the greenhouse up that is going to happen at some stage. My plan is that it's going to be up before the end of October, but we'll see. <laughs> 